Being upside down on a car sucks. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how you can use a new lease on a new car to have that negative equity eaten up. I'm Joe Chavarria, and this is The Joe Credit Show. So what is a lease? It's basically like renting a car just over a longer period of time. Typically 30 to 40 months could be the term length. And now you don't own the car in the beginning, but a lot of dealerships will give you the option to buy after your term is over. And the cool thing is you don't have to deal with the maintenance on that vehicle. Maybe oil changes, but anything major goes wrong with the car, engine problems, transmission problems, the dealership is gonna take care of that because they own the vehicle, not you. So if you don't own in the very beginning, what are some incentives for leasing? Let's talk about that. So leasing a vehicle is a good idea if you have a ton of negative equity on your current auto loan. Now remember, when you buy a car, it doesn't appreciate in value, it actually depreciates in value the moment you drive off the lot. So why would you roll your negative equity on your current loan into another depreciating vehicle and make the problem worse? This is where leasing can come in because oftentimes a dealership will structure the deal to where by the time your lease is over, you don't have negative equity, you can walk away from the deal and be basically debt free or have the option to buy the vehicle like I mentioned before. And again, with leasing, another cool thing is if you're a person that doesn't like to really commit to a vehicle for a long time, or you're always wanting to get the newest vehicle every three to five years, technology is always improving, vehicles are always changing, right? And you want the newest vehicle, then leasing will give you that ability to not be stuck to a longer term loan, like 60 to 72 months on, on typically, that's how most auto loans work. Um, but how do you lease if your credit is bad, or does that even matter? Generally, you need a 680 score to lease. Now, if you're below that, you can actually work with the dealership to restructure the term, restructure the value of the vehicle, such as put a little more money down, increase your monthly payments, or shorten the term. Basically, more money is going towards the, the lease in the very beginning, and sometimes that'll make the dealership accept the deal, even if you have less than perfect credit. You can even have a co-signer on the deal, or contact a credit union in your area because they typically have good deals for leases as well. But what if these, what if these are not options for you? Let's take a look at that. Basically, what you have to do is really work on your personal credit. I would recommend starting off by pulling your report from annualcreditreport.com. You can get that for free per bureau once per week. Highlight your errors that you see on the report, names, addresses, balances, collections, things that are outside the norm that you're gonna to wanna to dispute and look for ways to build new credit, right? If you have no open credit right now, get yourself a secured credit card. That can boost your score 30, 50, sometimes 70 points. Or if you have open credit and you have some balances to work on, get those paid down, generally right around one to 7% of the total limit before the statement closes. That'll also help raise your score. So work on your credit a little bit. If you have no other options and you really want to lease, you gotta work on that credit, get the score above 680. So in summary, leasing a vehicle can really help you get that negative equity off your plates and you're not committed to a vehicle for 60, 72, even 84 months with a long-term loan like that. And again, the cool benefit is you don't have to worry about all the maintenance. So anything majorly wrong goes, you know, goes wrong with the vehicle, the dealership will take care of that because they're the owner in the beginning. All right, guys. Well, that is my time today. Thanks for tuning in on today's episode of The Joe Credit Show. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow. I'm Joe Chavarria. I'll see you guys next time.